Hello YouTube. Yesterday with all the pandemic going on, I talked to you about how to make and showed you how to make your own sourdough. No, I know you're not going to have sourdough ready today if you just started it yesterday, but it's going to take around 7 to 10 days for that to get kicked off. If you did our quick method, uh, you could have sourdough active enough as in 4 or 5 days. But today I'm going to share a recipe with you on when you get your sourdough going, how you can make sourdough with I mean, make banana bread with just sourdough and a very small amount of baking soda. Uh, this is a nice recipe. Um, we're going to use buttermilk in it also with a little bit of soda. Um, I will share in the recipe how you can do an alternate for buttermilk. We're using two eggs, two and a half cups of flour, three quarters cup of starter. Uh, we're using a half cup of oil or butter. I used a combo of both, two eggs. 3 quarters cup of brown sugar. Anyway, all the stuff we're going to use will be listed below and I'll fill it to you as we go. Right now we've got our half a stick of butter, added it to a measuring cup, melted it in the microwave, then I took my oil and I filled it up to where it came to a half a cup. Now we're getting our half a cup of oil in this recipe. I just added 3 quarters of a cup of brown sugar. The reason we add our butter and brown sugar together is we want that sugar to start melting so we can add it to the recipe. This will start helping all this start incorporating together. Um, once I poured my butter in, I went ahead and cracked my two eggs in the measuring cup that I used for the butter. We don't want to mess up anything that we don't have to. We've got everything ready and measured out to go in this cake, including our sourdough. It's pre-measured, ready to go. So all we're going to do is just pour the ingredients in as we go. So we can get our two eggs in there and get them mixed up. Turn it up a little bit so we can get them mixed up. You don't want to over-mix uh, banana bread. So once we get to where we add our bananas, everything's going to go really quick. We're using vanilla in this, zest of a lemon, and a cup of chopped walnuts. I've got everything measured out, ready to go in it. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of my flour. This mixer, actually, if I add too much flour at one time, it slings it out. So I'm trying to add it in a little bit at a time. Before we add our bananas and stuff in, I'm going to get some of the flour in. If you wanted to add your bananas and your sourdough starter and your buttermilk and then add your flour at the end. But I'm doing it a little bit different because of this mixer being so fast it does sling the flour out. These are our bananas that have been smashed. We've got two good sized bananas. Get those in there. We're going to add our sourdough, which is three quarters of a cup of sourdough. If you don't have sourdough yet, you could use buttermilk. Uh, we are using a quarter cup of buttermilk and we're using a half a teaspoon of soda. If you don't have sourdough, use a full cup of buttermilk and add your half a teaspoon of soda to the buttermilk. Remember, your buttermilk is going to foam and rise up, so you, if you're using a, a one cup scoop to measure your buttermilk, you're going to need something bigger if you're going to add the soda to it because it will foam up and come out of that measuring cup. So if, you're going to, if I was going to measure up one cup of buttermilk, I would use a two cup measuring spoon. This is our buttermilk. This is only a quarter cup here and it's over doubled. So, uh, but I do have a pretty good amount of soda for just a quarter of a cup. This is buttermilk I made myself, the brown sugar. I actually made homemade also. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. I'll show you how to make your own brown sugar. Everything going on, the shortage is in the store. All you need is a little bit of molasses. I actually add a little bit of uh, vanilla to mine. And uh, really makes a, a nice, great tasting brown sugar. Again, I'm making a mess with the flour. I always do. Like I said, this mixture slings it out anyway. As you can see, here I go. I've already made a mess. I prefer the old dinosaur with the big deep bowl. We've got everything mixed up. I went ahead and added our walnuts chop, or vanillas went in, and our lemon zest is went in. Just gonna fold that into the recipe. 
and now we're going to add it to a low pan. I sprayed this low pan. This is a non-stick. If your low pan is not non-stick, I would advise flouring it. So you'll spray it with some oil or wipe it down with some butter and then add a little flour to it and be sure to kind of tap off and get the remainder of the excess flour to come out of the pan. I'm reserving a little bit of my dough because I'm trying something lately. It's where you can actually pan breads and cakes in jars. So I'm going to fill a couple of 12 ounce mason jars, about half full of my banana dough batter. And I'm going to bake them in with the banana bread. Uh, they'll be done before the banana bread, but when I take them out, I'm going to put my lids on fast and tight. And we're going to see how it does. It's something I'm trying. This isn't probably anything approved by USDA, so by no means do your, you know, copy me, do your own research for this. Uh, this is something I'm trying. Uh, some things I can are unconventional. They're not approved by the USDA. So you make your own decisions as to whether you want to try this or not. But I thought it would be neat to have uh, a few things in jars for, you know, if, you, if it works, I'll be probably baking a whole cake and baking them in jars and storing them that way. Then I can just go get one out. I'm going to try things like uh, pineapple upside down. I've done cheesecake before like this in jars and it works, but... Well, I'll, sh I'll share some of it with you along and along. We've got our oven preheated to 350. We're going to add our jars in and our bread in, or banana nut bread. If you haven't um, done this kind of thing before with jars, be careful. You might put them on a cookie sheet and put them in, because I just put them on the racks carefully. So be careful, they can tump over on you and won't anybody burnt. The jars bake 20 minutes, the banana nut bread bake 40 minutes, as you'll see how great it looks. Turned out really nice. The lemon zest gives it a nice flavor. Uh, when I tried it the first time, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but now I don't want to eat banana bread, nut bread unless it's got a little bit of lemon zest in it. As you can see, it rose up really well in the jars. It was only half full and it almost reached the top. If you haven't joined our channel, do so by clicking on the subscribe button and the notifications bell below. You get notifications of any new <coughs> videos coming out. We'll be, we'll be showing you more about using sourdough to make bread, pizza dough, dinner rolls, waffles, pancakes. All those type things can be made with sourdough. Hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And also, uh, we do answer, try to answer all comments. All the information about this recipe is below in the written section of the video. Hope you're having a great day. We can help you out in any way. Be sure to ask in the comments. We'll do what we can. This is the Pressure Prepper, and I'm out.